Wow, wow, what a show. First of all, I wanna thank several of my viewers who have recommended this show and have said, Anne, you have to watch Sky Castle. Let's discuss. Whoa, what a show. If I was to summarize it in one word, I would say greed, right? Greed in the highest level. Wow. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. My name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. Today, I'm back to review this one. It's called uh, Sky Castle, which was highly recommended by a lot of my viewers. Uh, it was done in 2018 and it's a South Korean series. So really the gist of the story is, if anybody has a child that's going to college, which by the way, it so happens I have one. I'm getting ready to send my daughter to college and I got to see this show and I was just like, wow, wow. Like it's so eye opening. And I have to say these times I could relate. I'm like, as a parent, you want to do whatever, whatever it takes if it gives them a fighting chance, right? Because this is how this world is. But in Sky Castle, which is a neighborhood, a very affluent, rich neighborhood where this family lives, they want to continue the tradition of sending their kids to medical school. So all the kids are being trained and they study knowing they need to become doctors like their parents are, their dads are, uh, and they need to continue that tradition. But the lengths in which they go to making sure that they're number one and getting into the medical school so they can continue this tradition is where everything went wrong, right? I feel like, and you can all tell me, but I believe every parent starts off with a good intention. However, it just went downhill. And there was one quote that was said by that crazy coach, right? Right there, this crazy coach of theirs who said, you, you hired me to use your greed through your children. And that's why I am giving you exactly what you asked for, right? And I was like, oh my goodness. Anyway, let's get started. The first family we meet is Mug Joe's family. And that was episode one, where you could tell their son, uh, his name is Young Jay, um, is being put through rigorous uh, education and studying. And this coach, uh, her name is Jo Young, who is on another level, is having him study so hard and you can tell the pressure is getting to him and he's cracking. And she also is practicing like mind brainwashing where he's almost turning the child towards the parents. So with that going on, his aim becomes, I'm just going to get into this medical school and then drop out. I'm not interested, but they're so pushing for this and they would never listen to me no matter what I say. And then it so happens that the mother ends up finding his iPad and in there he had written, like, it's like his diary about the, his uh, experience and how and what he went through. And then his mother felt so bad, like I ruined my son, couldn't take it, and goes outside and takes her life. She shot herself. And really that's episode one. That's how it all starts. So at least the viewers are like, oh my God, what is going on in this crazy neighborhood, right? And then obviously we meet the family of Han Seo Jin, and that's her right there. And I was like, what a nice mother. And she's got a daughter who is also crazy ambitious, who is being played, uh, her name is Yo So. By the way, that actress, she's so good. She was also in Snowdrop. She knows how to play like that, ruthless, doesn't care about people, people don't like her. And that's how she was with her education. She's studying, she wants A's. She even has a problem if she ends up not um, getting all 100% and is dedicated to becoming a doctor and continuing this um, 
obviously the generation, the, the third generation of them being doctors, right? Because Haddad is a doctor. And so obviously the mom is also like, I'm willing to give my daughter whatever she needs. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And that's how she's introduced to the coach, uh, Joe Young. And at first, actually, the coach was like, um, nope, I don't want to take your daughter. I don't think it's, this is a good fit. And she is like, I'll do what I She even went and got extra money from the her mother-in-law to say, we need to give um, your granddaughter, my daughter, a fighting chance to getting into uh, this medical school. And obviously, grandma is from that same generation, did the same thing to her son, who is uh, the husband, and put him in medical school. And now he's a doctor, right? And when she finally accepts to coach the daughter is when things just started to get crazy, right? And then the story obviously is told about Jo Yang, the coach, is that she also came from that same craziness where her daughter, they used to live in the United States, and her daughter was very smart, got, got into, I think it was Georgetown or George University, um, at nine years old because she was a genius and her daughter her mom was like pushing her so much with everything education and everything to the point where her husband is like you're ruining our daughter now she's become anxious because she's just gotta be so good and she couldn't she couldn't hear it she did not want to hear about it and at this point the husband is like I want a divorce and I want out of this and I'll take our child with it when she heard that her he's going to take their genius daughter. She sets up an accident and unfortunately both um, the daughter end up being in the car and the husband dies and the daughter is hurt and ends up becoming, uh, having some special needs and now cannot be that genius that she was, you know, raising her to be. But now she decides I'm going to go find parents who are like me, who have greed and teach them a lesson. I was like, She's crazy. She's crazy. And that's how she comes to Sky Castle in Korea. And she knows that these parents are greedy and are willing to do whatever it takes to get their kids colleges, right? But the methods that she goes about doing things are not legal. She's braining wash, washing the kids. And later we also find out that she's not even teaching them. She is stealing the exams. And that's why her record is so high up there because she gives them the test questions and obviously they know the questions and obviously they're gonna pass and they're gonna she's gonna have a hundred percent success rate and that's how she got into sky castle they're paying her a lot of money she's become very wealthy but in her head she's teaching them a lesson right so we saw that with the family obviously of han Siu uh, jean but we saw when they found out that there is a stepdaughter. Her husband had a daughter with somebody else. And it so happened that girl went to the same school as her daughter and she was her rival, right? The coach finds out about it and tells her to uh, have her move in to tutor her other daughter. And that just became very weird. And then she knew the whole time she did a DNA test and found out that the girl belonged to her, her husband and doesn't tell him. And then we have this situation where she's, if you haven't watched, I'm sorry, spoiler, she is pushed off the balcony and now case of murder uh, in the whole situation. And that's where the family of Lee Soim comes in because their son, Uju, ends up being implicated uh, for the murder because he actually was a good friend and actually they were kind of dating to their daughter. Um, her name, I think her name was Haina. And it was so sad because uh, Lee Siu Ung and Han went to school together so they knew each other. And she goes to her to say, help me because I feel like you know something. I believe it has to do with the coach. The coach is the one who caused that murder and you know it. But the dilemma is if Han is to say that the coach did it, they would find out that the coach has been giving her daughter uh, test questions 
And that would mean her daughter, by the way, her daughter who had been studying, she says she studies, they don't sleep for, for more than four hours. They've not been on vacation. She's earned all these certificates. How does she give all that up to tell the truth about who killed that girl? That I was like, oh my gosh, the dilemma. That was really sad. When uh, Uju's mom came to her and begged, please save my son, please save. Oh my God, that was the most saddest thing because it was clear that Han knew it was the coach who did it. But that meant that saving one child would destroy another child's life and by the way the part where he her husband finds out about the daughter uh he that he used to have that died and then it turns out that instead of him saving his own daughter he went to save the son of the director who owns the, the hospital because for him once again greed he wanted to become the director of the hospital and he's being pushed by his mom He's 50 years old. Even after becoming a doctor, his mom is to be like, you're a doctor, but you can also become the director of the hospital. It was just greed, greed, greed everywhere. And nobody could see straight, right? And then we have the family of this crazy professor. Uh, and that's the family of right here. Her name is No Si Jun. And her husband is this professor. By the way, that actor reminds me, has... Has anyone seen that kids show called uh, SpongeBob? There's a character on there called Squidward, her husband. The way she be, he behaves reminded me so much of that character. Squidward is one of those people who does not bend. He doesn't care about anybody, wants to follow whatever he thinks. And that was his take on uh, the same thing with he had uh, a son. He had two sons who are twins who are also going to uh, college. But the interesting thing is they had a daughter who they sent to United States and who was being raised by her sister. And they found out she got into Harvard. So he's walking around like, I'm the best father ever. My daughter goes to Harvard. My daughter is hanging out with the Obama's daughters, okay? So he was bragging and bragging only to find out. Her daughter never made it to Harvard. Her daughter faked being at, at, at Harvard. She went and took classes in there when they did not know. She was in the dorms when Harvard did not know. Eventually, Harvard finds out and they're suing the girl and the girl has to run home to Korea and that's where the father finds out, oh, what do you mean you did not get to Harvard? And the daughter has to explain the pressure that you have me and my brothers on. There's no way to tell you no. We can't tell you no. You don't take anything as success unless we go to medical school or to, to Harvard, right? You are so worried about how the status, how we look, classism, that you don't care about us. Which, by the way, I loved her for saying, if you don't change, I'm giving you a divorce. And I love that she, he came home one day and he, they had moved out. She couldn't, he couldn't believe that she could do that. I thought that was great. And it took him a while to realize like, wow, this whole idea of keeping up with the Joneses and socialism and uh, social status, um, is it really worth um, destroying your family? At the end of the day, all these families had that um, choice to make. And then the other family is uh, hers, Jean He family. She only had the one son. And let's be honest, the son would care less. The son did not, was not interested in uh, crazy schools. And when the pressure got to him, he ran away. When he ran away is when the mother was like, okay, all right, we need to rethink this, right? Like we need to... Uh, remember to care about the child too, not just about the education and the grades and the education and the grades, right? It was just crazy. And then obviously, uh, Lee Seung ends up, she was an author right there. She's an author right there. She ends up writing about the whole um, story and situation about Sky Castle and the amount of pressure 
that these parents are putting on their children. Oh my God, what a show. I mean, they had the best intentions, but because they have so much money, nothing was going to stop them. They were willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want to say how it, it ends just in case you haven't watched and needs to watch, but anybody who's ever gone to school or if you have children that you're trying to send to college, you can relate with this story because you either have been the person who your parents put pressure on to study really hard, or you are the parent, like me, who you have to balance that between trying to give them the best and also making sure that your children are still happy, right? Not everybody can be a doctor. So why are we so stressed out about you have to be the best of the best. But we know it's because society treats people who do better well and who doesn't want that. But the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your family, your happiness for that? Really, that's what this is asking. Like, come on. Can we like remember what is more important here? Is it, is it the competition? Or is it our family and our happiness? Really, that's what they were wrapping it around. But wow, what a fantastic show. And even at the end, I'm not sure if this coach ever learned her lesson. Like she is still ready to punish people for their greed. But in the way she's doing it, it's just, it's just crazy. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. It's an excellent show. Have you watched? Tell me what you think about it down below because I feel like this is a show that anybody can learn a lesson from about how a good intention can easily go the wrong way and how easily some parents can choose to live through their children and you have greed and you have money and you want status and all that stuff that keeps everybody losing their mind. But this show is telling us to stop and think about it. Do you really, is it really worth all that. Nobody says you can't be a doctor. Nobody says you can't be prominent. But is it worth the cost of your happiness in your family? Hmm. Good question. Once again, thank you so much, first, for recommending this because this was excellent. And second of all, thank you for joining me. If you do like my video, give me a like, subscribe. It does help to support my channel. And I'll see you again when I'm reviewing another excellent foreign international show. Deuces.